hello guys welcome to this video tutorial my name is william in this video i wanted to talk about how to install laravel hard in a windows machine laravel hard is a one-click php development environment where you do not require to install any dependencies and where you can be able to be up and running with your development process in a quick way i want us to see how we can be able to install laravel hard in the windows machine we will go to hard.laravel.com and then once we are in the landing page, we can be able to click on documentation and then we will go to installation. And after that, we can be able to pick the Windows installation and it will pick by default. And then we will click here to download our Laravel HUD Windows installer. So once we click here, we can be able to be uh, taken to the place where we will actually download Laravel Hut, and this is where we will be able to click. And so we can click here to download for Windows or for Mac OS if that is what we are working with. And now our download is already going. For me, I would like to stop this because already I have a version of Laravel Hut installed in my machine, so I'm going to go ahead and install. So for you, you can be able to first of all give it time for it to install and finish and then you can be able to follow uh, on. And so I want us to go ahead and install Laravel Add. So I go to Downloads and we have Hard 1.0.0 and we can double click on it to install it. We will click Yes. As you can see, Laravel Hard is being installed. Some dependencies are also being installed. Our installation of Laravel Hard is finished, so what I want to do is to just have this checked such that we can run it. We are being asked to access, to allow access. And then now we have this page that says welcome to Hard, but if we click on this one, it will take us back to the website, I suppose. As we click on it, we are downloading PHP 8.3. At the recording of this video, PHP 8.3 is the latest version. We will click yes to allow it to make changes to PowerShell. Now, as you can see, we are downloading the latest version of Node.js. After that, we are being asked to input our license key. And of course, HUD, we have the free version of Laravel HUD. And we also have the pro version. And so the pro version is the one that is asking us for our license key. And uh, there are features that are just only for the pro version and we will talk about it as we continue but of course fetching mails intercepting dump calls and viewing logs those ones are features in the hard pro but of course we will talk about more so for now instead of clicking activate we are going to skip for now such that we just work with the free version and then here you are being asked to Either to allow HUD to be launched automatically on system startup. You can be able to make decisions about that, whether you want it to just launch on its own or decide whether you want to launch it yourself. So let me just click on Get Started. And then now we are being taken to the HUD website. So this one I think we can just cancel it. My internet is a little bit low. And now our Laravel HUD is running. And so it looks like this. So we have dashboard and you can see we are having Nginx and we are having PHP 8.3. And then, of course, for Hard Pro, we have Open Dumps, Open Mail and Open Log Viewer. This is where you have paid for the Pro version. And uh, just to check the costing for the Pro version, you actually pay $999, I mean $99 or 299 for teams so this one is a i think is a one time purchase license so either this or this if you have a huge team maybe this one can be a better one and then we have the free one which has these features and of course it's always good to support a developer of such a kind of a nice project you can be able to go ahead and uh, just do the purchase but i'm going to just work on the free version and we see what we have inside here so under general, we have the path. You can see our path is users and then the name of the machine, Larafant, and then hard. 
So if we install an application inside this folder directly, it should it should be able to be launched in this uh, website. Then we have sites. So if we have applications that are listed in that hard directory, this one, or any other path that you would have added, then all those parts will be able to be rendered, the application to be run for you automatically. And then of course you can set up some um, some uh, settings here, the port, every other thing. The default installed PHP version is 8.3.4. And also you can be able to install any other versions if your application requires the previous versions. Then of course you can put some settings, the uh, maximum file upload size, the memory limit, the best port. When we click on the Node.js um, tab, we can be able to see that there are other versions you can be able to install if you require those previous versions. Then we have Expose, whereby Expose, as they are mentioning here, it can allow you to expose your your Laravel hard application um, to the internet. So using VPNs. So you can be able to put your expose token here and then uh, share the site. And if you want to get the expose token, you can click here to access it. And after that, we have shortcuts. And this shows the shortcuts that you can be able to use in the application. And then, of course, we have services, mail and dumps. And these ones, as you can see, they are available in Hard Pro. So basically, that is what we have to test whether hard works. I have been able to create a folder inside uh, this PC when we go to local disk C users and then Larafant and then inside here there is a directory called HAD and I have an application here which we are calling first app. So now once we do that if we go back to uh, sites and you can see that it will load our site and we are going to visit it by visiting first app.test so let us try that and see. And once we do that, let's see what is going to happen if our Laravel application will be up and running. Now you can see our Laravel 11 application is up and going. Of course, if we go back here to the hard uh, desktop and we go to this place here under sites, we can be able to make our application secured by just clicking on that um, icon. We can allow it to. We have several prompts, but at the end of everything, our application is now secured. So if we were having issues of saying not secure, if I'm to refresh, then now you can see our application is now running on HTTPS like that. So basically, that is um, a sort of a quick introduction into Laravel HUD. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed and you're new to this channel, please um subscribe and if you like the video give us a thumbs up and then if you have a comment you can shoot in the comment section below thank you